So, here's a small taste of a working musician's life in Israel, in a time where hopefully we can say that the pandemic is behind us. I hope you enjoy. So, the first stop is going to be driving to Ramat Gan, to Hazan's house, to drop off uh, the drums. I don't know if you can see the drum, or you maybe, maybe you can see the clothes that are on the drums, because I uh, forgot to wash them on time. So they're drying on my drum set. Uh, yeah, let's go to Ramat Gan. Okay, so we got to Khazan. Now we just need to unload. Opa, should I get shalom? Shalom. <laughs> Welcome to my city of Ramat Gan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, I never saw your tattoos on your legs. Boom. Okay, so the next step is gonna be Ulpane Mitzlol, Mitzlol Studios in Tel Aviv, where we're gonna be recording three songs for a very good friend of mine and a great vocalist called Nachal. Let's go. Oh, and catch this. I forgot to bring food, because I always forget to bring food, and uh, Hazan just gave me a box. That's uh, amazing. So, just finished the session with Nachal. Liran and Nachal, you guys are epic. The songs are really, really cool. And we also got really, really good drum sounds, which I don't know why I'm surprised, because we always get good drum sounds in that studio with Yona. But still, it's just very fun when we do. It was also the first time I worked with Ariel Keshet, who's an epic producer here in Israel. So that was great. And uh, now we're on the way to a gig with Guy Mezig, who is an, um, another amazing musician, who I'm subbing in for his show in Ashdod. So obviously now I'm gonna be stuck in traffic for a while, just because Israel means traffic, basically. But uh, yeah, see you in Ashdod. <laughs> Most of the job. Silence is also music. <laughs> Two hours later. Yo, I just finished the gig with Mezig and it was intense. Yeah, it was a hardcore show, but it's such a cool band. Yo, it's. And uh, I'll be back in a second. I think. I think I left my symbols there. So, done with. Uh, Guy Mezig's show, as I said. It's super fun, the music is amazing. The music is really, really good, and I'm not the original drummer, obviously. I'm uh, only subbing for a friend. A guy called Roy Broom, he's a monster. Anyway, now we're off to Bardo, Bardo Studios in Ramat Gan, where we have to set up the drum set for tomorrow, because tomorrow we're gonna record uh, Yonatan Hazan's EP. I've been practicing it for like two weeks, which is not enough, <laughs> but, uh, We'll see you tomorrow. Yalla, see you on Ramat Gan. Tomorrow.
just finished um, Yonatan Hazan's EP. The session was good. Eventually it was good. I came out a bit disappointed because usually when I when I go to sessions, to shows, I'm super prepared. When I get there, I basically go in and give like three or four full takes. But this time, I just didn't have the time to do that. And I just uh, didn't come prepared enough, which means that for some of the songs, I couldn't play full takes. I'm a bit disappointed just of myself, but the, the EP is gonna be really cool. So whenever that is out, go check it out. But I am dead tired. I'm gonna go take a shower and go to sleep. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up at 6 just to go over the show that I have tomorrow night after the sessions. So, yalla, let's keep on going. See you in the morning. Tomorrow for sure. By the way, this session that you just saw and the one that I'm about to show you were both engineered by Jonathan Koso, another incredible sound and mixing engineer I had the pleasure of working with for the past 10 years or so. Man, I'm surrounded by epic engineers. Not bad, making me sound good. Filming. Filming. What's up? Westmo here, gonna record some drums today for the next album, finally. Two crazy insane songs for uh, some collaborations that we're not allowed to say yet. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about the recording today? Sadr! <laughs> <laughs> means amazing if you want. Means severe. Severe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't deny me, I'm the new boy on the street. Welcome to the Hamsa beat. Bye, you guys, good luck. Okay, so the sessions are done. It was pretty hard. The last two days were pretty difficult. Yesterday, we did a whole EP for Yonatan Hazan with Com. By the way, as you can see, these three days are sponsored by eating in the car and standing in traffic. It's gonna probably take me an hour and a half to drive 30 kilometers, which is very slow. And then today we did two songs for Shuesmo, for Yoel, that were super hard <laughs> and then we played another song for a guy called Dane Jacobs from New Zealand but well my uh, camera died so I have uh, no footage from that song um, sorry Dane but here's a glimpse of it That track is like the fastest thing I've ever played, I think. So I'm gonna spend the next hour and a half in the car, eating and going over songs for tonight's show with uh, Bnaya Barabi. He's an amazing vocalist from, uh, from Israel, who I actually have a platinum album with. My only platinum album, which is kind of amazing. Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> לכל שאלה יש תשובה, אתה מאיפה אתה בא אלינו? Okay, so I'm at the, the show and apparently there's a guest artist that we're playing with that I had no idea that we're playing with and we're playing three of his songs that I completely butchered in soundcheck 
and I think he's pretty pissed. But I wrote it down just by hand right now because I just realized that I have to play those and I really hope the show is gonna be good. So I got a lead sheet for that for those but it's all just chords and hits so nothing for drums see all the pen markings and stuff that's what I'm gonna hopefully uh, read during the show all this all the blue kind of stuff yeah wish me luck it's supposed to be a lot of people catch this Supposedly 2,000 people. Yalla. I don't know if I'm gonna have footage from the show. I'll let you know how it went. Two hours and 20 minutes. That's a very, very long show. The songs with the other singer were actually great. He didn't give, really give a crap about it. <laughs> but, but I learned the songs uh, between Soundcheck and the show and uh, they were good. I didn't miss any kicks, didn't miss any breaks. I was proud of myself. No one else seems to care, which is uh, fine. So that went well. And uh, tomorrow's show got canceled. So, this four-day, three-day thing got shortened a bit, which is uh, which is great because I'm uh, very much ready to go to sleep. Uh, yeah, not before I go to my parents' house and drop the drums off. That's it. It's been intense. It's been intense, and uh, tomorrow we start packing because we're uh, flying to Boston. So I'll shut this off. Yalla bye.